everybody. Today we're gonna look behind the track RIP. We're gonna talk about the drops. Here we go. Refresher. When you fuck with me. That's a refresher of the song right there. Um, let's just go top to bottom like we always do. And here are all the elements. First off, we have the drums. When you fuck with me. Now you got the vocal chops. Fuck, 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 When you fuck with me. Fuck, 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 fuck. Now you've got uh, the synth section. That's cool as hell, play that. And you know how my rhythms go. My rhythms are all about finding the things that play off of each other that where it just sounds bouncy, you know? And it's like, look at the screech. It's like bump, bump, then at the end it goes bump, 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 bump. Like it's just those little bounce things that really make the whole thing kind of come together. And that's without the vocals in there, which the vocal is the fundamental thing that makes the drop, you know, from, you know, the uh, just the listening perspective, right? When you have the vocal in. When you fuck with me. But it works without it. You can really hear that fundamental. So super cool how that's done. Let's take a look at how I made this kind of gated kick here. Um, definitely sampled it together. So just the drums themselves. Now the main kicks. So we've got two kind of layers here that make this up. We've got our sort of punch and talk sort of thing. And that's just a sample. Where'd I get it from? I don't know. It's probably one that I made and sampled. Because it looks like I have it. Yeah, that's how I would do it. I don't remember. It's been a while. Um, but with the effects that I put on here, I just kind of low-cutted this so it's not playing anything. The talk, punch talk thing is not playing anything under 211 hertz. Uh, the utilities are here just to modulate the volume. Um, got some... <coughs> sidechain compression that's going to the kick drum so whenever the kick drum hits it compresses sidechain which is why it's so freaking punchy right um, then I've got a ballad reverb on here which is just to kind of give it some space because without it it sounds really dry kind of loses its, its power see and then you can really start to see the artifacts in there that are making the whole thing come together that I kind of want to hide from you. So I put the reverb on there and it really kind of brings it to life, but also kind of masks all those impurities of the thing. So, yeah. And then at the very end here, we've just got kickstart, which is kind of giving it that pumping effect. It's taking away the punch of it. Classic raw trap, you know. Now, moving into the actual gated kick itself. That's it right there. And it started off like this. This might be from one of my packs for sure. Probably like 99% sure. So it started off like this. And I brought it down nine semitones and it sounds like this now. Oh my gosh. And it's like, I was looking for something because I know the song is in the key of D. So I was looking for something that was close enough to that key that sounded right and we kind of got close, I think. Where was it saying? Yeah, we were, we were somewhere around there. So I was just looking for us to be somewhere in the ballpark to where it wouldn't sound too off-putting once it hits into the drop. Because, you know, gated kick, you can get kick, get, get, oh my gosh. Gated kicks, you can kind of go crazy and go all over the place. But I really like to stick to a, the sort of flavor and, and key that I'm sort of in, whether that be thing accompanying keys or, or you know, things that are in scale something like that and this one i really wanted to stick to the root note and i found something you probably can't really tell this because i was really going off of the feeling with the sub pack on and listening to the monitors um and you can really kind of feel what's real really close to the key and this is 
you know that low end is really right there um on there i just did a lot of eq stuff going on without the eq it got really muddy it got a lot muddier and a lot more amateur sounding without it with it without it you see it's got more emphasis and 